As a contractor, you know how important communication can be. Whether it's communication with your owner, your subcontractors, or between accounting and project managers, communication is critical to projects being delivered. In this video, I'm excited to announce how Trimble Viewpoint is delivering on connected construction management, where Viewpoint Vista users as part of Trimble Construction One and Connected Project Site can interact and exchange information. They can start to realize some serious efficiencies and help in reducing risks. In this video, I'll show three ways that these two great connected tools are starting to deliver just that. Number one, we'll see how a new project can be set up in Viewpoint Vista and immediately made available to the project team to leverage through Project Site. Number two, that Project Site team, your project managers and engineers, can continue or start to issue commitments like subcontracts and purchase orders, and your accounting team back in Viewpoint Vista can review and finalize before posting. And number three, as your project managers start to manage the budget and costs on their job and they're issuing change orders, those changes can impact your estimates and commitments back in Viewpoint Vista. Let's take a look. On screen, you can see I've logged in to Viewpoint Vista. Up at the top, I'm gonna open up my project master screen. Now, whether you access this from job cost or from project management, it doesn't matter. What I wanna highlight for you though, is right in the middle of the screen where you see that project site checkbox, that's the field that enables this job or this project to be set up automatically within project site to start to issue the commitments. So as an example, I'll go ahead and clear off my filters and I'll find my brand new project that I wanna turn on. As an example, I've got job 3308. This job 3308 has a few different breakdowns in terms of the phases and cost types. So you'll notice my standard phase code structure is listed for me there. As I scroll over to the right, I've got all my dollars for labor, materials, subcontracts, and so forth. When I'm ready to send it up to project site, I check that box. Now this box is a standard field as part of the integration. So you'll notice there, if I put it in a nice green box, you'll see that field is available today. Now that that's done, let's head over into project site and see that job show up. As I click down into project site, you'll notice there's 12 projects right now. Previously, that other screen, I had 12 as well until I checked that box. So you'll notice job 3307. As I head up and I refresh my screen, we'll see our new project show up within project site. Now that our new project is here, if I head right into it, so the emergency response center, we'll be able to see how on the budget tab, all of my phases and their associated estimates have been loaded up for me. So the entire project is here. Now, if you're new to project site, this screen is where your project manager can start to review their entire budget. So the same structure you have in Vista already carries over. So your phase codes and your cost types are here. And within project site, right from the budget screen, I can see the original dollars, what approved revisions have impacted that job cost budget to get me my current budget. And then as I scroll across these fields, we'll be able to see how as we issue commitments or adjust our uncommitted values, we can take up that savings or not. So you've just seen part one, how a new job set up in Vista can be made available in Project Site as part of Trimble Construction One. Next, let's take a look at how to issue a subcontract out here in Project Site. Directly from my budget screen, as I drill into any of these subcontracts, you'll notice how as I drill into that budget code, it gives me a full history of all the impact or changes to it. And that history could simply be directly from the integration as things move from project site, or as I head up to the links up at the top, 
this is where I can start to issue any subcontracts. So right from that link record, I'll say I want to issue a new contract and I'll create a brand new one. As I do this, you'll notice it asks me to assign a general description. So in this case, I'm going to say it's my slab on grade and I'm going to grab one of my contacts, or excuse me, companies that came direct from Vista. Because not only are your customers over in the AR module in Vista, but also your vendors in the AP module are available here for your project team to leverage. So we've got one set of vendors or contacts to manage. So in this case, I'll go down and issue a subcontract, and this is a unit price subcontract. And as I go ahead and say create, it opens up a brand new tab for me to start to be able to review and code in any of the core details. Those details could be a de uh, scope of work, could include uh, general miscellaneous notes or references to exhibits or addendums if needed. Over on the amounts tab is where my detailed schedule of values for this subcontract would reside. In my case, I'm going to shoot it back to my uh, slab on grade subcontract. So as I see that information, that budget code, I can go ahead and select that. And as you'll notice, you'll see the original budget, the projected budget, committed values are listed there as well. So let me make sure I grab the right one here. It was the finished work that I was looking for. So I'll go ahead and select that one item. If I have quantities, if I have units of measure, those can all be supported in here as well. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and issue this one for $80,000. As that line item is listed, that information will immediately impact my budget in project site and it will flow over into Vista. Now I'll review a couple more of the key details here, like making sure my contract date is ready and I'll make sure on the far right, all the key workflow statuses are checked. Now as a critical control for managing the budget, these workflow statuses can be controlled to make sure that only the right information is heading back to the counting and viewpoint vista. In my example here, once this uh, new committing subcontract is flagged as approved lock, that approved for budget flag is checked, this information is now in viewpoint vista and ready for your accounting team to review. Back in Vista, now that the integration has identified a new subcontract has been created in project site, it'll be waiting for us here in Vista. So part of that is getting a notification, lets me know that there's a brand new batch awaiting. Here I can see there's batch number 22. As I open up that batch, we'll be able to see for our project 3308, the description I typed in, slab on grade, the $80,000 for that unit cost I keyed in is there. And we'll also be able to see a remaining budget or remaining job cost estimate is 13,800. If I'm happy with this subcontract, I can go ahead and process and post this. And you'll notice it's gonna create my commitment right here in job cost. So from this point, we're now managing the accounting or the invoices as we normally would. But back out in project site, as I go back to my budget screen and I refresh my screen here, we'll be able to see that history of all the activity we've done. So 93.8 is my budget for this phase. As I scroll over in this part of the grid, we'll see the 80 grand that we've issued as a commitment. And as I scroll over, you'll see the remaining uncommitted cost is listed here in project site. So both my budget in project site and what's in Vista are connected. Now for part three, let's see what happens when we issue a change to our budget. Just like we did with the subcontract, right from my link screen, I could go ahead and issue a budget transfer directly from this same screen. So I'll hit the add link button, I'll go to records, and you'll notice within this list are potential change orders. 
So from within a potential change order, you can identify any of the budget that we want to impact. So in this case, I'll say I'm going to uh, reallocate reallocate my uh, slab on grade budget here to a different code. So as my PCO loads up, down at the bottom is a list of all my items. And I'm going to make double sure here by adding a brand new item that I'm getting the right budget code. And to do that, I'm going to come in and use my filters, select my subcontract uh, for the finishing here. And you'll notice the same dollars I saw before are listed. So there's my 80,000 in existing commitments and my 13,800 in uncommitted. So for each of these columns, dollars can be tracked, whether I have a scope change or a field directive change, whatever type of uh, adjustment I need to make to the budget, those dollars can be added in. In my case, I'm going to take um, $800. I'm actually going to reduce this by $800. And we'll see that $800 appear on my budget back in Vista. Because these PCO items, once they're approved for my budget here as a project manager, that $800 will impact my job cost estimate to remove those dollars. So if I was allocating that $800 to a brand new activity, well, I could do that here as well. So in my case, adding in those dollars and um, adding and hitting save up at the top or done, will add that adjustment to my budget. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and put another 800 in here. I'll say it's been approved because I'm going to move that $800 over to a new budget code. And that's going for my poor. So I'm going to take my 22560 there and I'm going to move that up because then we're going to move $800 from our subcontract up to our approved side for labor. So $0 from a net change perspective, but up at the top right, you'll notice it's already approved for budget. I'm gonna make sure I lock that. And now as I hit save, just like we saw for our issuance of a commitment, creating a new subcontract, this budget adjustment, this change will impact my estimate now in Vista. Let's take a look. So back in Vista, to see where that budget adjustment comes in, I'll head into job cost and I'll open up the JC change orders program. Now, right from here for our brand new project, 3308, that emergency response center, I see I've got a brand new ACO and that ACO, if I scroll over to the bottom, has two items and all the way over to the right, we'll be able to see that $8,800 in cost went off of one item and went on to a new item. So if I look at the phase detail, you'll see my cost type three for the slab on grade. And as I go to the next item, we'll be able to see how that changes to labor. So we've moved $800. And you'll also notice this change is listed as internal, so cost only. So we've effectively made a budget transfer from project site. We've seen that reflect in our job cost reports here in Vista. And all of that happened as part of the Connected Construction Management Suite. So in this video, we saw how brand new projects are able to be set up in Vista and made available in Project Site. We then saw how our project management team can issue subcontracts and purchase orders. And as they create those commitments, they flow directly back into Vista for accounting to review and post. And finally, we saw how budget adjustment can happen in Project Site and flow back into Vista. In the same way that that budget adjustment happened, changes to subcontracts can also occur. So if we would have adjusted an existing subcontract, that subcontract change order would show directly up in Vista in the subcontract module in the SL change order entry program. So round trip, making adjustments to our estimate, as well as commitments. 
That's connected construction management with Trimble Construction One.